Hi everybody, this is Oliver. I'm working as a solution architect at Alibaba Cloud. And in today's live demo episode, we're going to take a look at hybrid global networks with Cloud Enterprise Network and VPN Gateway. So let's quickly recap what we did in the previous episode, uh, where we appeared two VPCs, VPC A and VPC B, where VPC A was located in the Frankfurt region in Germany, and the other one was located in the Hangzhou region in China. And we appeared both through uh, CN and experienced low latency and uh, nearly zero packet loss. So in today's episode, we want to extend this example to this scenario, which is actually quite common. Uh, and we have a lot of discussions with our customers how to realize such a scenario where we have an on-premises network here that we want to connect via VPN gateway over IPsec with the cloud, in this case, with a VPC located in Frankfurt, to allow virtual machines in this subnet here, 129.168.2, to communicate with machines in the VPC B in the Hangzhou regions, which are located in 192.168.1 and vice versa. So how are we going to do this? So the first thing that we need to do, obviously, is to create a route entry uh, into our routing table with here 0000, and the next hop defined as the VPN gateway, which is this one on premises. Okay, So no matter what the destination of a packet is, it will always be routed to the VPN gateway and from there to VPC A. Okay, now how are we going to tell our setup that packets from VPC B, which have a destination of 192.168.2, can be routed to on premises? In order to realize this, we need to create a second route entry in the routing table of VPC A with the destination and the next hop defined as the VPN in our cloud VPC. Now how does the VPC B learn this route? In order to do this, we need to publish this route here to the CEN and this will result in a new routing entry in the routing table of VPC B, which you can see here, saying that every packet uh, whose destination is 192.168.2 shall be routed to VPC A. And from there, you know, it is routed to the VPN gateway in the cloud and from there to the on-premises network. So let's take a look how this actually works uh, in the console of the Alibaba cloud. So let me switch here. And as you can see, these are our two VPCs that we just mentioned uh, in the slides. And here you can see that these two uh, VPCs are connected by our IPsec. Okay, let's switch to the routing tables. And uh, let's add this first routing entry here in the on-premises network. And what we're defining here is that no matter what the destination is, it shall always be routed to the VPN gateway. Okay, we click OK. And we see that the routing entry has been entered. So the second step is now to make a second entry into the routing table of the VPC A in Frankfurt. So let's add a routing entry. And as the destination, we're entering the subnet of our on-premises network, which is this here. And as a next top type, we define our VPN gateway in the cloud. Let's hit OK. OK, now the entry has been, uh, has been entered into the routing table. Now what we need to do to enable our VPC in China to learn about this route is we need to publish it to CN by clicking here. So every VPC that is attached to the CN can now learn this route 
and have its packets sent uh, directly to the on-premises network. So let's hit OK to confirm. And after a couple of seconds, we should see um, that it has been published. OK, now it has been published, and we can withdraw it anytime. All right, now let's check if this is working. So I'm heading over to my two consoles here. Uh, one is um, in a VM in China, in my Hangzhou region. The other one is a VM in my on-premises network. So let's first try to ping the machine in 192.168.2 in my on-premises network. And as we see, you know, latency is quite low with 155 milliseconds and the ping works. Let's do the same the other way around, this time from my on-premises network over Frankfurt to China. And as you can see, it's also working with a low latency and no packet loss. So all the traffic is actually routed through our own backbone network and then through IPsec through the public internet between the on-premises network and the VPC in Frankfurt. Let's head back and take a look at the network in Hangzhou. So if we take a look at the routing table here, you can see that this route, this destination, has automatically been entered by the CN into the routing table of the VPC in China, as you can see here. And as you can see, the next hop is actually the VPC in Frankfurt, right? And from there, it's routed to the VPN gateway, uh, of, to the cloud VPN gateway, and from there to the on-premises network. So this has all automatically been done by CN. So just to prove to you that I can also withdraw such a route, let's head over again to the routing table of my cloud network and hit withdraw. Okay, let's confirm. And uh, in a couple of seconds, this route is deleted or withdrawn from the CN. And if I head back to my Hangzhou region now, Take a look at the routing table here. We see that this route has been deleted now. So this VPC in China doesn't know anything anymore about uh, the on-premises network. So just to prove it, I'm going to ping again. And as we shall see, no, there's no response. Same from my on-premises network to China. The packet is not routed anymore. OK. So. I hope um, it was valuable to you. If you have any more questions regarding the Cloud Enterprise Network, uh, do not hesitate to contact me anytime at o.arafat at alibaba-inc.com. Um, if you have any sales and queries, um, don't hesitate to get in contact with my colleague Christoph Kung at christoph.kung at alibaba-inc.com. So thanks for listening. And have a great day. Bye.